In answer to the question about how to make things more equitable, uh, I believe in government transparency, and that means letting the citizens know what the government's doing. And what I'd like to see is that the council video the meeting, their meetings, put them up on the web for everybody to see. But also, I would like to have town hall meetings in each of the districts throughout the year so we can get out there, get close to the citizens, have them come out, tell us what their concerns are, and hear from them directly. And one of the reasons I think I'm qualified to do this job is I've been interested in city affairs for a number of years now. Uh, probably starting in the sewage treatment plant had this problem, but I've always been in, uh, kind of an activist. And for the last few years, I've been doing a lot of reading and studying. I've become a member of an organization called Strong Towns, which is an organization of uh, about a thousand city engineers, city planners, finance people, politicians, and citizens like me that are just concerned about their cities and their communities. And you want to talk about out-of-the-box type thinking, strong task, the Congress for New Urbanism, um, placemakers, complete streets. These organizations have out-of-the-box thinking. And what they are are cities that have dealt with some of the problems that we face. Now, it's not a one-size-fits-all. We'll have to see how to apply these ideas to Valdosta. Also, a couple of years ago, I took the government 101 class that the city puts on. I learned about the different departments in the, of, of the city, and uh, I've been attending city council meetings. All the incumbents know me on site. If not, uh, I think they know my name too. <laughs> so that's some of the things I've been doing to prepare myself for.